right? So listen, this is the third time that I had to do this. Other times you didn't see. But you know the deal with my little cousin's channel. I say little cousin because he's younger than me, but he's like 12 feet tall. 40,000 subscribers? Are you kidding me? Just give yourselves... Wow. I believed in you guys. A million on a video? A million on a video. The only thing that you have to do is like and subscribe. It's the only thing. What is up everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. And if you guys are new here, I am Luke Dombrowski. This is my channel where I do a whole bunch of fish stuff like fish keeping and I have a big pond, a smaller pond, and then another pond. And then I have a 160 gallon tank, a 75 gallon tank, and an 80 gallon tank, and a 10 gallon tank where I keep all of my fish in. Without further ado, today is a fish trap video. I actually have the fish trap right over here. This is what we're gonna be using to catch the fish, to get them attracted to the bin. We have the small bin right here, and as you can tell, there's already holes inside of it on both sides. And the reason for that being is this is my third time filming this video, and the other two times just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Actually, one time I didn't have audio, so that was just no bueno at all. This is what we're gonna be using for a fish trap today. It's gonna be super dope, so stay tuned. There's actually two Florida Gar sitting in the canal right here. I think I have my net in the back of my truck, so I might be able to catch them and show you guys that like I did before inside of this mini canal. And I actually came out here the other day when I went to film this video. I saw some fish I've never seen in here before. They are very, very colorful. I just didn't know what to do because I had the fish trap in the water, but I didn't have my net. So I couldn't catch them, and it was just frustrating me because I really wanted to catch them. So that is basically what we're going to be going for today, and if I see any of them, I am almost 100% going to try to catch them, even if it is with the net that's in the back of my truck, just to even catch them for you guys, because that would be super, super cool. But the way we're going to be using this fish trap is we're going to be putting a big rock on top of it to hold it down with some bread inside of it and toss some bread right around it so the fish get attracted right next to the bin, and then some of them will probably go right inside of it because... They don't know any better. Well, all right, so as you guys can see, we have the bin right here. First thing I'm gonna be doing, opening it up. All right, so this hole over here is mostly for the fish to go inside of. This side is mostly for the mosquito fish. We got some bread right here. I'm gonna break it up into a few smaller pieces, toss some in there just so if the fish do get inside, they can eat something because that's what they came inside of here for, unless they just accidentally swam into the hole. All right, so we got about five pieces inside of there, actually six. We're gonna close the top up. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it over to the water over here. And as we bring it over to the water over here, we're gonna find a spot that we wanna put it at, which is right here because I just saw a lot of fish over here and I actually just saw one of the colorful fish that I was telling you guys about. All right, so we just finished sinking the little bin. We're gonna put the rock on top of it. We're gonna go back up to the land now. All right, so now we have the fish bin right there, but as you can see, the water is very, very cloudy all around it. So we're gonna wait for that to all settle down, and then we're gonna start chumming up the water, throw some bread right next to the bin that is right there. It's kind of a curse, because if I step in the water, then it all murks up like it is right now. But I'm gonna wait till it settles down. And in the meantime, let's check out this dope B-roll. And now what we do is just sit here and wait probably 15 to 20 minutes, maybe even a little bit longer since it doesn't seem like there's that many fish right around the bin right now, but as the time goes on, the fish will get more used to it and there's gonna be more fish trying to go inside of it.
All right, so my camera overheated and now it is time to finally pick up the fish trap bin. As you can see, the water is very murky because I saw the gar and I really tried to catch him and noodle him with my hands, you know, like when you go down there and catch him with your hands. I tried to do that with the gar, but it did not work out very well. So let's go down here and catch whatever we have inside of the fish bin trap. All right. There's actually so many mosquito fish over here. Let me bring it up here and I'll show you guys exactly what we have inside. I knew there was fish in here that were really cool that I haven't seen before. Like the last time I came out here, I had no clue it was actually these fish in here. They were bright yellow, bright green, bright orange, bright blue, and then just a whole bunch of different colors that I've never seen before inside this canal. And I was literally thinking to myself, if I actually catch one of these, then it is gonna be insane. So let's open it up. I don't know how many I caught. I know I caught more than one, that is for sure, because I've seen a few really bright colors in here. I don't know if it's Mayan cichlids, which is really bright colors. Oh my gosh. I think this is the only one we have of this right here. It has to be. There's no way there's more than one of these. All right, so what this is right here, I don't, I don't even know what, it's some type of cichlid, I think. What the hell? All right, I I think I've, mm, I don't know. Maybe like an African cichlid or something. What the heck? All right, well, I'm gonna have to go get the bucket filled with water right now because you know dang well we're keeping these and probably putting them inside of the, the pond or something. There's another one. There is literally another one right here. No freaking way, dude. No freaking way. There is two of them in there. Imagine if I caught more. But we got we got a Mayan cichlid over here, like a full-on Mayan cichlid. I think those are mixed with something else because those don't... All right, so today might just be my lucky day because I've actually never, never caught these guys inside of this canal before. I've seen stuff like them, but I've never actually caught them. I actually found this net one time when I was fishing. I just keep it in the back of my truck just in case, and it came in handy today so we could catch all these fish out of here. This is just insane to me. I've, I've heard stories of people actually catching them out here, but I've never seen a picture, and I never really thought I would catch one either. That it, I'm gonna give you guys a really cool view once I get everything inside of here. So these fish might have been actually released into here. Someone has a fish tank probably and just releases the fish they don't want anymore, or fish that aren't getting along or something because my friend actually caught a garami inside this canal and it, I've never heard of that before either. It's just crazy to think that it might be people releasing these inside of here. Cause I don't think these, yeah, there's no way these are actually inside of the canal. Someone definitely had to release them in here. All right, so I have all the fish I just caught inside of this bucket right here. I went and put the fish trap back in the water over there as you can see and now let's check out what we got all right so we have one of the cichlids right over here one right there i don't know how i'm gonna hold them all at once i'll probably just wait until after we get all of our fish but the blue one is right here all right i'm just gonna put them back I'm not gonna be able to hold them until once I'm done, then I'm just gonna catch them all with the net and show you everything that we caught. So this is everything we have so far, which is actually a lot for the first drop with the fish bin trap. We're gonna go set this down in the shade, which is gonna be right here next to my tire. We're just gonna let it sit in the shade because the sun is on that side over there. So now we're gonna wait about 15 minutes for that trap to be done. We're gonna bring it back up here, and that's probably gonna be my last one, just since I had to go home and edit this video for you guys. Let's wait 15 more minutes for that trap to be done, bring it up here, show you what I got, and hopefully we caught some really cool fish again. All right, so now it has been around 15 to 20 minutes. It is time to go down there, bring up the fish trap back up here, show you guys what I caught, because I have a really good feeling about this. I don't even know why. I just have a really good feeling about that. there's gonna be more of those, whatever we just caught, the African cichlid, Mayan cichlid, whatever you wanna call them, inside of the bin. All right, let's go down there and get them. I, th 
I think we caught another blue one, if not two. Maybe even three. But I know we caught some more stuff in here. All right, here we go. Here is the blue. I don't, why is it so dark? All right, here's a blue one. Let me go get the bucket so we can put all the fish back inside of here and take the thumbnail because that is insane, guys. Oh my gosh. If you guys love this content, I never even, th like I never would have thought that we would ever caught any of these, like honestly. But if you guys love this con, oh, there's another one right here. There's another one. This one looks like it's been in the canal for longer because it's sort of discolored, it looks like. All right, what the heck? All right, this is not normal, guys. This is really not normal. Let me put these back in here, bring everything back over to the bin. We're gonna put everything that's in here back inside of the bin so we can take a thumbnail and whatnot. This is absolutely insane. Not ever in my life would I think I caught these in here. I mean, I'm sure since someone caught a grommy in here, that I could catch anything, honestly. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get out all of the really cool fish that we just caught, like the Mayan cichlids, whatever these guys are. I think they look like African cichlids, so that's might that might be what they are. They still got their full bright colors, even though they've been inside of the bucket for 30 minutes now, probably. But look at all of this. It is insane. I, n I really never thought I would catch any of this inside of a fish trap. I'm gonna put this into the back of my truck right now. Let's bring it back home and I will see you all when I'm at my house. I actually just looked up what those fish were and they are African cichlids, full bred African cichlids. So I'm just gonna put them inside the 80 gallon tank once they get a tiny bit bigger because as you guys know, most of the fish inside of the 80 gallon tank are actually bigger than them. They're honestly maybe a little bit bigger than two inches and a lot of fish inside of the 80 gallon tank are three inches four inches, exactly like the yo-yo loaches, and just a whole bunch of different fish in here are pretty big. So they will do perfectly fine inside this 80 gallon tank right here. Let's put them in. I've already acclimated them enough to be inside of this tank. I've been home for probably 15 minutes. So it is time for them to go inside of the tank. So here we go. I'm gonna be putting the African cichlids inside of the tank. One, two, three, four, five. So that's actually insane to catch five African cichlids in the same day. But this is where I'm gonna end off the video. Thank you all for watching. If you guys have not already subscribed, go down below, hit the subscribe button, put the post notifications on if you wanna be notified when I post my videos because if you are the first 10 people to comment on my videos, actually for this video, let's make it 20. The first 20 people that comment on this video are gonna get a 100% respond rate from me and then a various amount of different comments throughout the whole entire comment section I'm gonna be responding to this time. So make sure you go down below and put the post notifications on so you can get when I post my videos and then you guys can also be the first 10 or 20 people to comment on my videos. I will see you all in that next video.